Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to build a WebKit based browser using Swift UI. This uses WebView to represent page, the container and address bar where user type website address, a go to button which go to the page described inside the address bar and on the bottom side we are going to build a two arrow which moves page forward and backward. To build the app, let's create an iOS app project. Create a Swift file called as WebView State Model. First, create a class called WebView State Model, which confirms to observable object. Then inside, create some variables as published object. First, create a page title which is of type string and initially takes some web URL address. Then create another variable, go to the page which is of bool and initial value to false. This helps us to trigger function inside a representable view. Then create additional two variables, go back and go forward. This also helps to trigger function from Swift UI view to representable view. Create another Swift file called as WK view Swift UI and WebKit module. Then create a structure WK view which confirms to UI view representable view. Then inside it we create a type alias of UI view type which equals to WK web view. Now we let our observable object require from subsequent view which confirms to web view state model class. Then now make our make view and update view. Inside the make view we create a view as wk web view initializer which takes frame as input cg reg dot zero inside it. Then we can return our view. We also initialize some value like allow back forward navigation gesture to true. And also allow scroll enable. Then inside the update UI view function, we are gonna load our web page which takes URL request function inside it. Then inside it, it takes another URL function which takes string of URL and we pass a web view state model page title. Then we can also check that if our go to page variable is true, we are going to load the page again and set the go to page variable to false. Now create the coordinator which confirms to NS object and WebKit navigation delegate. Then inside it, we require the parent which confirms to our WK view. Inside the initializer, we put input parent to class parent. Then create a function web view did start provisional navigation W. This function provides functionality to go forward and backward. 
Inside it, we check that if our state's model go back variable is true, we get out web view to go back function. And if our go forward variable is true, we trigger web view go forward function. Then create a make coordinator function and provide a coordinator. In our make UI view, we set the delegate of WK web view to coordinator. Inside our content view file, We first initialize our state model class. Then create a V stack. Inside it, create H stack. Into it, create a text field which takes the string placeholder and text. So create a state as web address. We add some modifier to text field to have foreground color to white, add some padding and background color to gray and add corner radius. Then create a button. This button acts as go to button. This sets the web view state model class page title to a web address string. Then we set go to the page variable to true. On the bottom side add a toolbar. Use toolbar item, we add the placement to bottom bar. Inside it, create a edge stack which takes the two button forward and backward. Both these functions takes the respective go forward and go back variable from the web view state model class. So here you can see that our app is working fine. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel and yes do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now I'll be signing off, we'll definitely see you all in the next video.